Serenity Behavioral Health Systems is expanding in Augusta with plans for a new facility that will more than double the capacity of their current site. Bria Smith has more. That new 40 bed building will be built right here where I'm standing and it's a chance for those with behavioral challenges to get the help they deserve. Two, three. <laughs> Serenity behavioral leaders say the need for more resources in the Augusta area is great. It's just basically an upgrade on the CSU crisis stabilization unit that we currently have in place. It gives a middle type of uh, services that People might get rushed to an ER or something, and they're not equipped to deal with that in a hospital ER. The new facility will serve people in Augusta and beyond. A total of seven counties within the CSRA will have access to the resources provided. We recently did a bed study looking at how many crisis center beds do we need in Georgia, and we identified we needed eight new crisis centers across Georgia over the next decade. Everybody's affected by something. It's not a, it's not a matter of... If something happens, it's a matter of when something happens. And when that something happens, we need somewhere to go to be able to address the issues and the circumstances that we were dealing with. Georgia Department of Behavioral Health and Developmental Disabilities Commissioner Kevin Tanner shares how this can be a preventable step for some. So someone can come in and they may have some, they may have diabetes, they may have something that they need mental health services, but they also need just some regulation on their physical health and they'll be able to receive all of that at this facility. Troy Curry is a former patient who has benefited from the services. Now he helps others. Peer support is merely seeing a person down in the hole, looking down in the hole, jumping down in the hole with that person and showing that person how to get out of that hole. In the meantime, the current facility will remain open and the 988 helpline is always available to you should you need it. In Augusta, Bria Smith, WJBF News Channel 6.